what a shut down dog can look like. Please note that the footage of Zany in a shut down state is from four years ago. I would handle the situation differently now. First, for comparison, here are some typical clips of Zany. She's always up for a game. You better get that. You better get that. You better get it. You better get it. Give me that. Give me that. She's an excellent problem solver. She's sensitive, but recovers from being startled. Good girl! That's a girl! She stands up to the bigger dogs. She can wait calmly. But here is an episode where Zany got so traumatized by an interaction with my smaller dog that she checked out for 90 minutes. One day, Zany got in little Cricket's face. Cricket snapped at her. Here's Zany's behavior immediately after the snap. Cricket is sitting next to me, to Zany's left. Blinking repeatedly. Turning away. Looking down and away, head down low. A few minutes later, she hasn't moved. She glances at Cricket. Here's the glance. She then got off the bed and sat on the floor in a similar position, hunched over, looking away. Here's her response when I tried to get her to move. That was not a great idea. I should have gotten the other dog out of there. Come here, Zane. You want to come up here? Come on. Come on, hon. You want to come up here? Okay, sweetie. Even more important than the individual indicators of her distress are her stillness and non-response over a long period. A dog who is quiet is not necessarily calm nor happy. Sandy wants you to know that she doesn't get scared like that anymore. <laughs>